Hi guys, uh, myself Vijay Tawadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a, a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this. A pentagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges of the base which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree. Now according to the given conditions so go to your line command make sure that it's uh, 0 0.5 millimeter thick and it is a continuous line and then go to an application macros run macro and in the run macro select the inside polygon which is the path available which is as shown here then open the inside polygon and then after opening the inside polygon select the flat length option and the flat length size is given as 25 millimeter and pentagon is having five sides then click on the apply relationship press the cursor uh, the press the left click of the mouse that is cursor anywhere on the screen so that one will get the pentagon properly on the screen now the pentagon has to be rotated in such a way that it is going to be the side resting so we will make it as a side resting rotation and then it will be placed below the x y line that is in the hp then go to tools IntelliSketch, Relationships, switch on the midpoint because we are in need of the perpendicular bisectors. So go to a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13. One can draw any two perpendicular bisectors for the given pentagon. And then again go to IntelliSketch, Relationships, switch off the midpoint, then say OK. Then make use of a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter. Now the intersection is going to be the center of the pentagon. So one has to draw these five lines. This is nothing but representation of the slant edges. These lines are going to be the slant edges of the pentagon. And then make use of a 0.13 mm thickness and start drawing all the different corners of the pentagon till it reaches the XY line and the position of the axis also till it touches the xy line like this then axis is further extended to a height of 60 millimeter which is as given in the question so let us log this value as 60 degree and it is supposed to be a chain line then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter the front view is going to be connected as a triangle like this wherever the edges are going to be represented then show that the height of this triangle is 60 millimeter and the size of the pentagon is 25 millimeter then one can go to a command called as text start naming the corners like a b c and this is going to be d and e this will become o as well as o1 now after which using the text command name the base edges like a dash then b dash as well as e dash and then we have uh, o1 dash o1 dash and then c dash as well as d dash accordingly the apex portion will be now named as o dash now the front view naming is completed as well as the top view naming and the all the conditions has been satisfied according to the initial position as per the given conditions now the axis is inclined to hp at 40 degree so for which one has to select the front view then go for a move command move this uh, solid in such a way that it is resting on the c dash d dash it has to be repositioned at a convenient distance on the xy line properly then go for rotate command select c dash d dash as a fixed point and a dash is going to be rotated that is the base is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 90 minus theta angle theta is given as 40 degree that is the base is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 50 degree now make use of angle command angle between these two lines are supposed to be the 40 degree and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 and then start drawing the projectors from the respective corners to complete the view now o dash and a dash will be the same projector so we will complete it and then o1 dash is also supposed to be the same line we will complete the o1 dash also then 
C and D is there. We'll connect C to C, and then we'll connect uh, B also, and then we have remaining as B and E. So we shall complete the B as well as E properly. Now, after drawing these things, the next remaining thing is the next remaining thing is. marking the respective corners with the help of a text command so this will be a this will be b and this is going to be c d and this will be e and this is going to be o1 and that is o1 sorry and this is going to be o next according to the rules of visibility one has to construct the boundary as a visible that is boundary is a b o and e as well as a is going to be the boundary then from the top base is invisible apex is visible hence base must be shown as invisible edges such of the base edges which are not forming the boundary should be shown as the invisible edges that is e to d d to c and c to b is going to be the invisible edges now inside the invisible edges whatever the slant edges which are passing is visible and the slant edges which are passing outside the visible bases sorry invisible bases invisible so that is co sorry co is not connected properly so we'll connect c to o and o to d is becoming invisible and then using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 mm o a is going to be the visible edge and after which the axis line has to be drawn without forgetting the line that is O1 to O. Now O1 to O, even though we have drawn it, we, it is not going to be visible. Now after which one can say that the construction has been completed as per the given conditions. Now the line CD, that is because one can see that the edge we are resting on one of its edges of the base which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. That is CD is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Now one can measure the length of CD which is measuring 25 mm here and here also it is measuring as 25 mm and the, it is nothing but the true angles are given, true uh, length is there which is supposed to be drawn on the true angle directly. Now one can construct an inclined line like this. Now whose angle is supposed to be 30 degree with the XY line and after which get this uh, top view with respect to the CD on 30 degree line for which one has to select the top view then make use of a move command move with respect to the corner D and reposition that corner D anywhere on the 30 degree line like this then go for a rotate command select D as fixed C as going to be the rotating point and C should be get the point on element and parallel so that the rotation gets completed after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 mm one can complete the front view by drawing the projectors like this so o dash is connected to o dash and cd is going to be connected till the xy line and then you know, just move the cursor here one will get the end point because the axis is already drawn by us in the previous stage so axis will be connected to the respective axis position and then B is going to be connected to B dash and then E is going to be connected to E dash properly and then remaining is A. So one will complete the projection of A properly. And after which now make use of the text command start naming the respective corners and this corner will be called as A dash and this is going to be the B dash and uh, this is going to be C dash and this is going to be D dash and this is going to be e dash and this will be o1 dash and this is going to be o dash now we have to complete the boundary line according to the rules of visibility go to 0.5 mm thickness now starting with o dash so one can see that c dash will become the boundary line and then d dash then e dash and then e dash and then O dash. This is going to be the boundary line. Now the base is nearer to the observer and apex is other, hence base edges must be visible. That is A dash to B dash and B dash to C dash is 
visible to us. Then I will uh, relocate the B dash slightly here and then make use of the text command. Sorry, uh, it's already done. Then uh, this is the visible base inside the visible base such of the slant edges which are either partially or completely passing will become invisible that is d dash o dash is going to be the invisible edge and then a dash e dash is also going to be the invisible edge and o dash b dash is passing outside the visible base hence it must be visible edge and then at last not but the least the axis has to be represented using 0.13 mm and a uh, chain line form it has to be connected to the apex like this now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects now if you are having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and also do subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you for watching my video once again